Let's move on now. The Indian Foreign Secretary Harshvardhan Shringla is on a two-day visit to Myanmar. Now, this happens to be the first high-level outreach from India since the Myanmar military coup in February this year. During his two-day visit, the Foreign Secretary will hold discussions with the State Administration Council, political parties and members of civil society. The Myanmar State Administration Council is headed by General Min Hong Lang, who seized power in February in a coup. Now remember, the country's military evicted the democratically elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi in a coup on February 1st. The External Affairs Ministry said further in a statement that the, that the two sides will discuss issues relating to humanitarian support to Myanmar, security and India-Myanmar border concerns and the political situation in Myanmar will also be discussed. Myanmar is one of India's key strategic neighbours. Myanmar shares a 1,640-kilometer-long border with a number of Indian states, including the militancy-hit Nagaland and Manipur in northeast India. Some militant groups from India's northeast regions are now reportedly taking shelter in Myanmar. The recent spurt in militant activities in Manipur and Nagaland has been a major concern for India, naturally, and it is one of the key issues that the Foreign Secretary will be flagging when he visits Myanmar. And in his meetings with the Myanmarese authorities, this will be a major point of contention. Myanmar itself is witnessing massive protests following the military coup. The military continues its crackdown on civilians who are now protesting against the coup. According to reports, hundreds of people, including children, were killed in the crackdown by the Myanmar authorities. India has condemned any use of violence and stood up for the restoration of democracy in Myanmar. And now for a better understanding about the significance of this visit, we are now being joined by Rajiv Bhatia, who is a distinguished fellow Gateway House and former ambassador to uh, Myanmar. Ambassador, this happens to be a high-level visit by a top Indian diplomat since the Myanmar military evicted the democratically elected government of Aung San Suu Kyi in a coup on February 1st. So what will be the, uh, the stance of New Delhi on this crucial situation unfolding in Myanmar? A whole series of, uh, uh, you know, violent incidents, clashes, conflicts uh, affected the country, uh, you know, endangering its stability and security, which has had its impact on India. India began to receive large number of um, Myanmar people escaping oppression in that country, and Mizoram is, you know, facing the brunt of this at this stage. And then on top of that, when, uh, uh, you know, we hoped that uh, the premier regional institution, ASEAN, will be able to play a facilitator's role to bring uh, some kind of a settlement between the military and the opposition elements. Um, it showed some results in the beginning, and then it again fell through. So in effect, uh, at every stage, at every phase of developments in the last 11 months, India's concern has increased. And this is the reason why uh, Shri Harsh Vardhan Shringla, uh, Foreign Secretary, Government of India, is presently visiting Myanmar. Right, absolutely. My second question for you, sir. A statement from the Indian government says that issues related to humanitarian support to Myanmar and India Myanmar border concerns will be discussed at this meeting. What can we expect as an outcome on that front? This is quite um, precise uh, a statement from the government, uh, as far as I can read it, based on my research and study. Uh, the uh, point to remember here is that uh, India has been uh, generously uh, extending and offering uh, help in terms of uh, medicines and vaccines uh, to Myanmar to enable it to counter the threat of COVID in a very consistent manner. Uh, back in January, that is about a week before the coup, the first major consignment of medicines was sent to Myanmar. And this was sent at a time when the democratic forces were in power. Now, I think uh, we learned from reliable sources that uh, Mr. Shringla uh, may have offered 
uh, another uh, you know sizable package of assistance in this context to meet covid to counter covid to the uh, government which is now the military government and uh, the point that i want to underline here is that regardless of the complexion of uh, the governments in myanmar india remains fully committed to support the people of myanmar and to think and work for their welfare so this has been done absolutely now my final question for you ambassador is uh, the issue of security at the india myanmar border going to be topping the agenda especially after certain terror activity that was observed in north indian states especially so what can we expect on that front we need a, a very effective uh, and mutually acceptable border management regime uh, this uh, is precisely what i think uh, is being discussed and will be finalized but i think if you allow me i want to say that the discussion agenda probably is much wider than this i think india is also concerned about uh, the economic aspects of the relationship there are uh, reasons why uh, trade and economic links have to be further promoted i think it's very important for india inc to be uh, even more strongly involved in terms of uh, promoting the economic uh, linkages between india and myanmar uh, indian products are very popular especially the pharmaceutical uh, products agricultural uh also uh, products we uh, sell and buy and above all the garments so in effect uh, the agenda would cover security it would cover economic relationship uh, and it will also certainly uh, talk about uh, uh, how to speed up the mega projects such as trilateral highway and kaladan multi modal connectivity transport project uh, and also india the development assistance to myanmar so all in all the plan is that we very clearly indicate india's support for the cause of democracy in myanmar i think that is very important we need to underline that and at the same time ensure that india's security interests are fully protected with the cooperation of the government in myanmar we on world is one is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news updates on the move